Hey guys, welcome. Um, just so you guys know, I'm so used to doing videos on a tripod that I'm using this little stand, this flexible stand right now, and I, I'm having a heck of a time. So it's being all finicky. But anyway, I wanted to say, oh my gosh, welcome to Triathlon 101, Trilogy 101, a beginner's 12 week program to your sprint triathlon. Now, you can be a beginner or you can have done uh, a, a few triathlons, but just want to get better. And you guys, I've been looking, I look just like you at online training programs and some of them are ridiculous. But here's why Trilogy 101 is going to be so much better than that because there are no other comprehensive, there is not one other program out there that is comprehensive as what I have put together for you. And let me just say, whether you're new or whether you've done a couple and you just kind of want to get better, you've made the right decision by joining this program. And I am going to, I promise you, I'm going to make it worth every single penny and more that you have spent. So what are you going to get? Well, you're going to get a calendar with the workouts. And remember you guys, this is a virtual program. So it's not like we're meeting every day or every week because we're going to be across the country. All right. So you're going to get a calendar of workouts to do each week. You know, I said I was going to do it monthly, but monthly is really, really hard to do um, because I, I like to change it based on who's in the program, how you're progressing, what the weather's like, what your races are like. I, it's just, it's different. It's difficult for me to do that, but I'm going to try. But you're going to get this weekly, monthly calendar and your job is to get those workouts in when and where you can. They don't necessarily have to be done on the same days that they're in the calendar that, that you're provided, okay? And this is the beauty of it because a lot of training programs are gonna tell you that you need to rest on this particular day and do a run on this particular day and then a swim. And a... Maybe that, that day off doesn't work for you or maybe you need a different day off. The beauty of this program is you are going to be able to make those changes and do it as you see fit. The other thing is you're gonna to get to go at your pace. So you don't have to worry about trying to keep up with somebody else. Um, as long as you are pushing yourself, that's, that's really, I mean, my goal is to get you through this, this race or races <laughs> successfully with personal records, whether you're brand new, it's to finish. If you've already done it before, it's to get a better time, right? So my goal is to make sure that you do all of that. And I am going to be available unlimited via email. I can't take everybody's phone calls and, and texts and everything, but you can email me anytime and I will get back to you as fast as possible with the answer that you need. However, I will tell you, I've got, I'm going to read you here the list of topics that we're going to do. One video just like this every single week, you're going to get, and it's, it's going to be a different topic every week. So, um, let me just, tell you the topics. Hold on one second. Let me tell you the topics. Okay. So this is week one. Welcome to triathlon. Hello. I'm not sure who jumped on, but right now the group is small and yes, cause I kind of, I should have been promoting this a little bit earlier on, but there's just been a ton of things going on. But all I want to say is that it doesn't really matter. You could even have jumped in a week or two later. You're still going to be able to finish that race within this 12 week period. So let me tell you what these topics are. So today is introduction to triathlon and I want to tell you this, you can do it. That's my goal to help you do it. All right. Uh, number two is gear and equipment. All right. What exactly do you need? And I'll tell you guys, when I first started triathlon, my, my best running, my favorite, I shouldn't say favorite, I guess my, my partner, my training partner was Guy. And guess what? He didn't know anything to tell me about what to wear for my first triathlon. I, what I do, I, I winged it. I, I read some stuff online and I winged it. So guess what? I'm here to tell you all of those things that like, even your friends who've done triathlon, they're going to tell you stuff, but they're going to leave stuff out. And not on purpose. It's because it's hard to remember what it's like to be a beginner and what you need and what you don't need. And not everybody needs the same stuff. So next week is going to be gear and equipment. What exactly do you need? Because if you don't have a bike yet, peeps, you better get a bike. Okay. doesn't have to be the best bike in the world, but you need a bike. All right. Number three, what is periodization and RPE? RPE is rate of perceived, perceived exertion. I'm going to teach you what those things are and how to apply them into your training. Number four is goal setting. 
goal setting. We all have different goals. So, and that's another thing that you don't get on an online plan, right? How do you know what somebody else's goal is? You can't, you know, I can't coach you unless I know what your goal is. So we're going to talk about goal setting, how to set those goals and how to modify the training program as you need to, to reach the goal that you want to achieve. Okay. It's all about you. It's not about me. It's not about anybody else in this program. It's all about you and helping you get to the finish line and feeling like a success. Okay. Number five is swimming technique. Mm, big one guys got to work on that. Okay. And I'm going to give you some of the, some of my best favorite tips, tricks, drills, most common um, mistakes that are made in swimming and to make sure that you don't make those same mistakes and to make yourself a better swimmer. Okay. And then number six is the biking basics because a lot of us, a lot of triathletes I've coached, they don't even know how to shift or they don't shift and they just ride an entire race and never shift once. Why well, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you how to do it, how, how do you shift, when to shift, how to take a corner, how to ride in a pace line, how to draft, not that you can do that in a race, but if you're gonna do group rides, sometimes it happens, how to be safe out there. And if you haven't already seen my video on how to change a flat tire, I'm gonna teach you that too, it's, it's already on YouTube, but I'm gonna share, you, share that with you because it is critical, critical that you know how to change your own flat tire, okay? And then running tips, and some people need help with run, running gait, but some people just want to be able to run faster. And I'm gonna give you tips on how, how it is you can run faster because this program is gonna say stuff like pretty general, like, hey, go run 30 minutes. Well, if you're already past that, you've already done that, running 30 minutes isn't what you want. You wanna know how you're gonna be better. How are you gonna be faster? How are you gonna improve? I'm gonna teach you how to do that. And then we're gonna talk about nutrition, strategies, tips, guidelines, again, Everybody's nutrition is going to be a little bit different, but I do have some really solid guidelines that you should follow um, that no matter who you are to be able to, to fuel yourself properly for your race. Uh, we're going to talk about open water swimming skills. So if you didn't see my video last night, um, that was on open water swimming tips, but I'm going to go, I'm going to dive deep. I'm going to go, more, I'm going to dive deep. Funny. Uh, okay. I'm going to talk more about open water swimming and how you can improve it, how you can overcome maybe any fears that you have, right? Uh, we're going to talk about stretching and injury prevention because when you haven't been doing this for a while and all of a sudden you get started, it's very easy to become injured if you're not doing it right. So we're going to talk about stretching and how to prevent those injuries as, as they come up. Uh, we're going to talk about transitions because that is something that's very important and you don't want to be spending eight to 10 minutes in transition. That's like free speed guys. We're going to, you're going to, I'm going to show you how to do it. The most fat, the fastest, most efficient way. There's also a video on YouTube about that, but again, I'm going to talk to you more about it. And then we're going to talk about race day prep because a lot of times I think, you know, we're, we're trained, we're ready to go. No one talks you through like how that's supposed to go on race day, what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, how to overcome any fears and anxieties you have. And I'll tell you right now, if you don't get nervous before a race day, you are congratulate yourself. You're in the minority because most of us do. I don't care how many races I've ever done. I'm always nervous the day of the race because I'm there to, I'm not nervous about finishing. I'm nervous about performing and, and performing my best. So I'm going to talk to you about that. Um, you can always email me with any question that you have, but before you do it, if you, if you look at this topic list and I'm, I'll put, I'll put a post in here. Uh, about about what we're going to do talk about each week but if you see that that topic is coming up please hold off on your question unless it's super super you need to know it before that before the um before that week's video comes up if you need to know it before then go ahead and email me all right but i'm just here to tell you relax you're in good hands you can do this I'm here to support you. These people on this page are here to support you every step of the way. Thank you so much for joining the program. Please share it with anybody that you know is also going through their training because what you get out of this training is not going to be the same thing as what anything else, anybody else gets out of it. Okay. Everybody takes away something a little bit different. It's designed to be that way because we all have different strengths and weaknesses. Okay. That is what a, an online or a, a plan, a book plan, just a straight up plan is not going to do for you. There's no one there to answer questions. There's no one here talking about all these other things. I could sit there and say, here, wait, here you go. Here's your calendar. Go ahead and follow this. Swim, bike, run, blah, blah, blah. Do it on the stick. I could do that. 
but there's so much more to triathlon that's really, really important. And that's what we're going to talk about. So if you have any questions, please email me. It's uh, info at tryrightcoaching.com. I'll put that also in the page below. Uh, and I am so excited to work with you guys. We're going to get started. I am going to email you all some workouts for this week, but please invite any friends that you have because I'd like to see this community grow just a little bit bigger. I think there's a lot to offer here. Um, and if you follow the program and you, and you watch the videos and you learn, you are going to have a super duper successful season. And I think you will surpass any expectation that you have of doing your races. So thank you guys so much for joining the first edition of Trilogy 101. And I will see you back here next week. All right. Have a great week, guys.